Welcome, I'm Ruud Wester for TV Novo. I'm here to tell a story about the new movie from Nürnberg Film Hochschule called Elmer's Love. I'm here with Thomas Rudding, the director, writer Hi. of the movie, and Christian Rixholt, he's the cinematographer and the production assistant. Hello. Elmer's Love, the new movie of Nürnberg Film Hochschule. We're going to see it soon, but for the ones that doesn't know what it's all about, here's the trailer. Så vilken värld vi lever i då? Hat, cynisme, egoisme. Kan du se någon framtid? Du menar dig med fel folk då? Aldrig gått om för tid. Ingenting var det evigt. Okay, and we're back. You saw the trailer, I hope you like it. Um, I saw a lot of action, romance, and like a shiny Emmet kind of thing. Is What kind of genre movie is it going to be? What kind of? What kind of genre movie is it going to oh, be? Oh, uh, it actually it's, it started as a sci-fi, okay. a science fiction movie, but we we added, to get depth in movie, we added a lot of uh, action and drama. And it's not a lot of romance, but there's a romance between the main character and his uh, his fiance. Okay, that's the little picture we saw in the trailer. Yes. Okay, and that's Elmer as well, or no? Uh, Dag is the main character. Dag. Okay. Elmer is actually um, an inventor. An inventor. Yeah, inventor. Inventor. Okay. He invents a clock that can steer time. Okay. Which is this ah, clock, the, the device. Shiny amulet. Okay. Yes. Yeah. That's what the movie about. A clock to, so he can he has a clock to steer time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Or he stretches out time. Like he starts it and it stretches out. For example, a minute. So he he goes through. Everyone stands frozen. Oh, so it basically slows time. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's okay. Oh, so that explains the shiny amulet we see in the movie. Yeah. And uh, the title is called Elmer's Love. Why did you call the movie Elmer's Love? Also, they lose money. Okay, um, well, it's actually not, it's called Elmer's Law, but okay. in Norwegian it's Elmer's yeah, okay. Law. And uh, the inventor, he has some laws with this clock, how to use it. Okay. And if you don't follow this, this law, you will eventually get, uh, you, you will ruin your life with it, sort of. So, uh, that's the thing, to actually use this and actually uh, getting from point A to See, you okay. have to follow the law. That was kind of so it's, it's not the like laws. The, the the clock is bound to. Yes, yeah. it doesn't follow the laws of physics. No. Okay, physics. It's, it's Elmer's law. It's Elmer's, Elmer's law. law. Okay, so special rules, and they will be explained in the movie. As yeah. Shows. Yeah. Okay. yeah. 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 So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. so, <laughs> so it's not like he can just walk on the street and use the machine, and then slow down. He really has to have a good purpose for it, or it really follow the laws, Elmer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm. Perfect. Um, well, to get this idea, did you made it up at school or did you have the idea before you went to school? You're like, I always wanted to do that. Uh, it, was, it was an idea I had. I wanted to make a movie in uh, second grade, Vizigona uh, High School. High school. Uh, high school. Cool. Yeah. And I never got to make it, so I just saved it and shoved it. And suddenly we were going to make a science fiction movie. And that was one of my suggestions for us to make. And people seemed to like it. And it's worth noting that the idea he came with was entirely different from what yeah. we ended up with. <laughs> the only thing that we actually had from the original idea was a clock that can stare time. And uh, the main character, I think. spent so many hours discussing what to have in the film and yes. what to do with, with the... So when the, idea. Idea, when the idea came, we started working on this concept together. So the concept is everyone's. Mm. Okay. You, know what came up with the so you gave the basic and everybody else yeah. decided what to put around yeah. the movie and create the whole 
Yeah. But we was it was a group's decision. We were yeah. a happy family. Yeah, and I've heard it was supposed to be a short movie, but it turned out to be a pretty big one. Uh, How come? Uh, well, we were uh, an ambitious group, just as easy as that. It was supposed to be short, but we wanted to make uh, something bigger, and we just did. Actually. But you actually, because how long is it, the, the movie? Well, it's uh, currently it's 54 minutes. 54 minutes. Oh, yeah. Bad. yeah. How it actually happened was well, it's, it was Thomas who came with the idea, and when you came with the done manuscript after you written it down, you had just sitting the night before and wrote and wrote and wrote and wrote and wrote, and, wrote and it became this massive thing, okay. <laughs> wasn't it? Maybe, maybe. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so I am the ambitious one here. Uh, okay. It was a mix. Yeah, yeah I think. Because so, we, if we didn't want to make something, we wouldn't have made it. But uh, we wanted course. to make something. Mm. Bigger, so. so yeah, it was supposed to be a short movie, like a 20 minute movie, then you kept on writing, 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 kept on being bigger, <laughs> but did you expect to become 54 minutes? Or? I actually, I remember, I remember I really wanted to make a full motion picture, so okay. I thought, uh, I didn't think that was going to be around 50 minutes or around 2 hours or so, but I thought something longer than 20 minutes I thought. Yeah, oh cool. And how long did it take to shoot the entire movie? <laughs> uh, we started writing in November. We started yeah. shooting in the end of February, maybe in the first of March or something. Yeah, something like that. And we were done in two, two or three months. Which the actual filming? Yeah, we yeah. were done with the, all the shooting mm -hmm. like two days before the premiere or something. <laughs> yeah. And we had edited along the way. Oh, of okay. Course. Yeah. But um, suddenly we found out we need some close-ups here and different things. So, but uh, all in the end we were done shooting with everything in May, somewhere. Oh. And we had the premiere 9th of May. Okay, and you, had, you actually had the premiere, it was actually done at the premiere or just like, yeah. uh, like still a while <laughs> part of We the thought it was done, until mm. we actually watched it. Yeah. Uh, like two hours before <laughs> the premiere. <laughs> and then we saw that it was so many mistakes and so yeah. much uh, sounds stuff that was not done. The thing was we uh, got <laughs> completely <laughs> panicked. Uh, <laughs> The thing was that uh, at the premiere we were actually delayed because of the editing and exportation, okay. exporting uh, of the movie. Yeah, of and so I actually stood up there and just talked about... And we showed some short movies. So yeah. yeah, okay, we did that too, but just talking about nothing really. For about three an hour. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's a picture of me from Snapchat where it's called... It's, uh, uh, one stress director which Trom took and sent to me while I was stood up there because I was really stressed. Was really one stressed. stress director. <laughs> but at the end it worked out fine and then after the premiere you just uh, recut it and just polished it a little bit to make it what it's... Yeah. Well, we because started doing that now. Yeah. Because when we were done with the premiere we were done with school. Yeah, okay. Yeah. But uh, the movie wasn't done when we were showing it at the cinema either. It was a lot, lots of mistakes, um, yeah. missing sound here and there, and we were sitting in the cinema talking over it, so people wouldn't notice. <laughs> uh, the thing is, it's kind of funny, because the one line that is maybe the most important line to get was gone. And it's a, it's a scene when Elmer is introducing himself. Okay. He says, I'm Elmer. And uh, if, you do, if you don't hear it then, you will never hear it, because yeah. that's the only scene he actually <laughs> mentioned, he's Elmer. So okay. no one... We had two premieres. The first premiere we didn't know, so uh, they no one actually knew who Elmer was until oh yeah maybe that was that guy yeah because it's like uh, Doug asks who are you and then the sounds come on again. Yeah. So uh, it's the second time I shouted I am Elmer on the premiere and it ruined the moment actually. But people got it was Elmer. Yeah. And then people looked at you and they thought you were Elmer. Uh, no, I hope not. <laughs> And um, for the, the main characters in the movie, that's also students, or did you find them somewhere else, or a theater class? Or? Most of the actors in the movie are students, yes, because they were easy to get yeah. hold of when, mm -hmm. we, when we had time to shoot. Yeah. But we also had some um, local people who we found by auditions and stuff. Okay. Especially two. <laughs> uh, we had uh, we, one of the female villain, the, mm -hmm. or the female villain yeah. is played by a girl. Ben Edwards. Ben Edwards. So we the, saw in the trailer with the. Yeah, yeah. The she's the okay. dance teacher. 
Okay. Yeah, sweet. And uh, Frank Spoonbottom, he's uh, a guy called Todd with, with the beard in the trailer. Okay. Oh yeah. 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 Uh, he's a really funny, a funny, funny yeah. character in himself. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Yes, yeah, I saw them all in the trailer. It looked it looked pretty good with the actors. I didn't recognize some of them, so that's why I thought, uh, yeah, how did you get your actors? Mm. Um, and the main character was actually played by one of the practicants last year. Okay, that's the guy in the poster. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And that guy is Tegunash's um, son. Okay. <laughs> okay. So really, the main characters was the students. No, technically, yeah. but we had a lot of uh, background people. Right? Okay. Mm. Yeah. I can't wait to, to see the whole yeah. movie. Um, and if you look back now to the whole process of the movie, is there anything you'd like to do better next time? Or like... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, like to plan it more. Mm. Uh, most of that, but that's a lot of work to yeah, plan things. So I would like to plan things more and really know what we were going to do before we go out. Sometimes we didn't really know how we were going to shoot things. Or sometimes when I wrote it, I didn't really know what was going to happen. And then it took a long time to write, write all scripts. So, yeah, to plan it, really. Yeah. And everything we did last year gave us experience. So next time we know what we're up against, yeah. and know what yeah. we can yeah. do to get, make it better. So, so yeah, planning it saves, of course, a lot of time in the whole process if you just plan it well. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Mm, that's a warning to you if you your class is going to make a long feature. Plan it, because that's everything really. <laughs> it's the fifty percent of the total process. Yeah, more. It's ninety. Ninety percent. Planning, planning, planning. Okay, so two percent um, filming, eight percent percent editing. <laughs> yeah, and the rest is for all planning, planning, planning. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It should be at least. Yeah. And my last question was actually, do you have any advice for the future filmmakers here at school? But I think you just gave it. <laughs> Plan your movies. <laughs> no, and just it's important to remember that uh, why do we make movies? Because we like make movies. We we think it's fun. We like to tell stories, and of course that's the most important thing. Don't forget to do that. That's my first advice. But the second advice is to plan it because it's a lot of hard work. People should know that. But. Yeah. Uh, no, nothing more. We'll, we'll find it out this year. Yeah, and don't uh, ex um, um, yeah, don't do the thing. Don't if if you have work to do, don't think I'll do it tomorrow. Yeah, don't wait do until next time. Yeah, do it uh, now. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And um, with the film, when are you expected to have the whole film ready to show? Uh, this year? Uh, the most thing that's left is the sound editing. Mm. Uh, so and some coloring. Stuff. Yeah. So um, at least before Christmas. Before Christmas. Yeah. yeah. This uh, autumn. Yeah. No, yeah. Spring? Yeah. Autumn? Yeah. Autumn. 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 Yeah. Autumn. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so we can we can watch it before Christmas. Of course. Yes. Okay. Well, yeah. we look forward to it to watch it this Christmas. Hopefully you do too. Uh, thank you, Thomas. Yeah. Thank you, Christian. And we look forward to your next movie. Yes. Thank you. <laughs>